Welcome to another QPython 3 tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you guys can actually can make login sections. So basically login sections are kind of a front end part of um, let's say a web page or a web app or an app basically that allows you to log into your account. So basically if you have a login session you can actually use this means to get access to your account if you knew if you know your passwords and your usernames of course. Now we are familiar with this um this um terminology so I'm just gonna go down to the tutorial. So I'll basically be showing you guys how to create simple login sessions and in our later videos I'll be showing you guys how to use these login sessions to have direct access to Google services. So let's get started. Now so the first thing we need to do is I'll need to import the Android helper module. So let's just do that right away import the 100 helper module and of course let's create a variable as we always do android equals a 100 helper dot android okay so yeah now since that we have that out of the way let's head on to creating the simple front end login session now there are basically two ways in doing this now there's a way you can do this for creating a login session that allows you have let's let's say the viewer has the the option to create the part where you guys can actually let's say you want the password to be visible when you type in the password you want it to be visible so you can actually see what you're typing then there's a way you can actually create a login session where the password will not be, will not be visible so I want you guys through both of the steps and then you decide what way you would like to use when creating your own script or creating your own Android script when you're running the 100 helper module. So let's get started. So now, so the first thing you need to do is that you need to create a simple front-end input method. So let's say Droid dot dialog. Now we're talking about input here, so let's just create an input method. So let's say get input, right? Get input, and then let's say um, let's get a simple default value let's say this is a username okay and let's let's just create a variable at the start here so we don't have to print that over and over again so let's say this is the username okay and let's just save this our code and let's run see if everything works fine first of all before we move on for some reason this takes a lot of time to load on my PC yeah it works exactly as it should so it says username as you can see here username please enter value yeah so that's that so um, let's see what we can actually do on underneath this now let's type in um, let's say password underneath this and let's say password equals droid the dialog get input okay and this time let's call this default value let's call this password because we do not want this to be mistaken as the username of course so yeah so this is the password of course and now we can see that this username and password have different variable names so for us to get the result we have to add the dot result method at the end so please take note of that. Just add the dot results at end. So this way we can actually print out the, the value for the username. Okay, we don't need this. We can actually print out the value for the username and the value for the password. Okay. Yeah, the password. So yeah. Basically this is was what what we'll need let's test this out and let's see if everything should work fine let's just test this out quickly run and uh, this should take some time to load I don't know, know why it's slowing down on my PC this way but whatever it works anyways so let's type in the username let's say my username is um, Desmond Aziyama and the password is um what should be my password let's just say my password is um blah 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 yeah now this becomes boring because whenever we're typing a password it's not secure so basically anyone can just swoop in 
use an eye to look it from the side and then get your password that's basically not cool so we want this to be hidden when we're typing a password so we're going to be using the other method of hiding our plain fit text and plain fit text when we type in passwords so let's get that out of the way so let's click on ok and now you can see that after all of this the username and password gets printed out and stored inside of this so let's save this okay so let's create a simple method that allows you use the dialog to get input password but in terms of this we're going to be using this to create a hidden password so let's just do that so yeah on this part we're going to be saying um, the new password or let's like, just call this um, hide password okay and inside of this we'll create a simple variable and this will call this the droid of course because it, it refers to the android helper module and then we'll say the dialog get input and this time we want to be calling the password keyword alongside it so let's just create a variable and yeah so this should be it okay yeah so yeah this is it so let's create a simple text that allows us to directly see what we're typing so let's say uh, let's say password for uh, let's say something like for and then we add the username let's say plus the username to make it easier and let's say username okay so yeah so in this place we want to print out the password let's say print out password or let's say print out the hide password rather okay let's print out the hide password I do not know why I keep using the uppercase in terms of lowercase and lowercase in terms of uppercase but whatever so let's do this and let's just test our code and let's run this it should work fine so we have the variables in place yep and yeah that's basically it. so let's save our code and let's run okay so I'm just gonna type in some random text okay let's just use a simple name Desmond to be precise so uh, let's use Desmond just Desmond no uppercase click on OK and value for the password blah blah this is the one we can see and for the next one yeah for some reason it's giving us an error so let's check out our, our code and see let's work let's see what's wrong okay so I can see the error here I think I wasn't supposed to add this input so it's a mistake for me so yeah so this is just basically drag the dialog get password and that's all you need to do so let's click on the save again let's run I think this time we should remove this password oh, let's just leave it for those of you guys who haven't fully understand yet so uh, yeah let's run this again and let's just test it out so this time I'm gonna be doing everything full well the username and everything so I'm just gonna type in my username Desmond Aziyama this is the best name in the world in case you do not know <laughs> And for my password, I'm just going to type in um, blah, blah, blah. Click on OK, and this should take me to the next password feed. Now, it says password for Desmond ACM. You can see it follows up exactly as we wanted to. So I'm just going to type in the password for my Desmond ACM account. And now that I'm typing the password, you can see that everything is basically hidden. You can't actually see what I'm typing. So when I click on OK, you can see the password. I used before and this is still hidden you can see that the result for this is this so if you wanted to get the result directly you can simply add the do result to this end and just see how it goes so let's type this again and this should give us a nice output this time now this is the fourth time I am running this code and I think you guys should already be bored by now but this is just for learning purposes so type in password this month click on OK blah 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 click on OK again and this time the password should be whatever now you can see that this time without any errors I should get the fine password outputs I typed in recently so that's all for this tutorial guys I'll see you guys in my next tutorial but before I go I need you to leave a like on this video subscribe and of course to enjoy more videos like this on Android scripting and other programming video languages please subscribe to that and click on the notification bell icon so I'm gonna test this code on the other QPython 3 app before I go but for now I'll see you guys in my next tutorial
thank you all for watching see you guys next time